Now I'm intrigued for this talk show because yep. again, hopefully, um, you know, our founder can help me to learn and teach me how to paint, please. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and to find out more about improving mental health through arts, we are now with the founder of Ganara Art Space, Tita Jumario. Good morning. Good afternoon, Tita. Thank you Good so afternoon, much for being Batita. here with, me, with us. We Why appreciate am I saying you with coming me? here. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so first of all, you know what I just we were, I was mentioning with you back in our waiting room. My son at that time when he was two years old, he's nine years old by the mm -hmm. way now. Um, we were looking for some art space for him to like do arts and whatnot, and we found you got an art space. He was doing uh, poet, uh, not poetry, um, pottery. pottery. Yes. yes. And he loved it so much because he can be dirty and whatnot. I and he see. loves the end result. He was yep. just yep. so proud of showing, Mommy, I made this and whatnot. And made the, the children make felt so satisfying about themselves, yep. right? Now, let, I mean, why don't you let us know about the behind of Ganada Art Space itself? Okay. So, uh, thank you again for having me here. Yes, of uh, course. This afternoon. So, actually, uh, Ganada Art started in 2013. It okay. is actually founded by myself and my husband, Ranald mm -hmm. Indra. We are both from... Uh, ITB Seni Rupa, okay. uh, Fine Art Departments, and uh, we actually have three boys. Okay, okay. congratulations. <laughs> They're big now. <laughs> uh, their names are Gadra, Nalagra, and Ralangana. Ah. Ah. So it's their Ganara. name short and okay. Okay. Yes, right. But, uh, turns out after we have Ganara for one year, we realized that it's actually Spanish. Mm -hmm. uh, that means yeah. I will win. Oh, oh yeah. that's very good coincidence, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, so the title is very, very uh, good. Yes. Okay. And actually, we we started um, in 2013, mm -hmm. and we started with so many uh, different art classes. Okay. We actually had cooking for kids. Wow. And then we have oil painting for the moms. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And we have this special class. It's called early art sensory class. I think mm -hmm. that's what your son took. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So it helps uh, children, specifically yep. toddlers, mm -hmm. uh, to create art, uh, but also learn sensory along the way. Because yeah. as it ha happens, sensory helps uh, the children to, you know, uh, control their emotions, yes. Yes. and then they uh, they get to communicate better yep. and they get to create. Mm -hmm. I think I think that's the key because yes. uh, there is this certain. Uh, pride that mm -hmm. they yes. feel when they create art. Right, I, yes. I see, yeah. I think so that yeah. enhances their uh, self-esteem as well. I, I think that's, yeah. that's yeah. what happened because so we created uh, early art sensory for our yes. second son, Nalagra, who has speech delay at that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it turns out it helps a lot of children yeah. along the way. Yeah, indeed, especially yeah. in this age, right, where yeah. people, I mean, children are more, you know, attached to their gadgets and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. But yeah. this Digital. is going back again to the norm as we were when we were kids. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we're glad to see there are various activities in Ganara. Mm -hmm. So, um, are there uh, like stages to learn in Ganara? Because uh, many of our children, especially my son is a, is almost one year old, so mm -hmm. he's very small. And Paul just uh, said to uh, uh, told us that uh, if we want to join Ganara, it has to be two years old. Yes. So uh, are there stages of yes. courses or just like one time so, only? So there are stages. Uh, so you can actually join Ganara uh, starting at two years old. Okay. So there's a okay. toddler class, mm -hmm. okay. early art sensory, two to four years old. Okay. And then we have four to eight years old, yes. then eight to 12 years old. Mm -hmm. So those are the kids' uh, ranges. Mm -hmm. And then uh, up to teens and adults. Mm -hmm. So uh, the leveling actually continues on. So you right. start with early art sensory. So let's say yep. uh, you start with the, that class and yes. then you continue on. Mm -hmm. By the time you reach four years old, then you can continue on to painting class mm -hmm. and pottery ah, class I for see. kids. Right. And then there's the junior level and then sort of like the senior level, mm -hmm. yep. which is yep. eight to 12 years old yeah and then afterwards uh, there are uh, different types of uh, painting like oil painting watercolor and acrylic painting so it's more like uh, diverse right that. so is there a continuous so, learning or uh, there's a, a one-off class uh, all as we, well? but we have both so, oh, you okay. can choose. so, uh, so the actual actual spirit of Ganara is art for everyone mm -hmm. that was okay. our tagline when we started in 2013 and what we have accomplished is that anyone can do art. I, yes. do, I truly believe that. I mean, yeah. uh, I, uh, I'm certain that people, if given the right tools mm -hmm. and given the right encouragement, mm -hmm. they can create through art. You know, but sometimes people are just uh, intimidated by art, yeah. right? Like, I mean, just say, I mean, I'm going to be open just like yes. me because yes. I felt that I cannot draw or I cannot paint. Sometimes seeing the canvas, especially black canvas in front of me, I'm like, there's so many things that I want to draw that I want to interpret. <laughs> 
in the painting itself, but it's so intimidating, especially yeah. holding the brush mm -hmm. and whatnot. So Getting for people there. like me, especially you, family of the Ganara, what should we do when you see people like me that were intimidated and whatnot? But we want to learn and we yes, want to do yes. it actually. Okay, so uh, what we actually have accomplished in Ganara is we create the this special class is called All Day Art Activity. Ah, okay. So what you nice. can do is actually we have that open in uh, all, most of our branches, but mm -hmm. currently we're, we have uh, the one in Ashta, okay. in District 8. Well, you can come in and then you have about 45 minutes and uh, the, the usher, the art teachers there right. will give you the tools. And nice. then uh, there's uh, guidance mm -hmm. in, the, in the middle of the table. Yes. And yep. you can yep. just do it. Sort of like going to a cafe, yeah. Yep. But right. instead of like ordering coffee and then right. you do art, yeah. yeah. Forty-five minutes, very simple. Mm -hmm. There's the guide, step by step, yeah. how to do it, and then you leave with this sort of like a satisfaction that you, you've done oh, something. Yeah. Of course, yes, yes, yes. And the medium is very, very um, various. Mm -hmm. uh, we have painting on tote bag, painting on bucket hat, oh, wow. and, and also yeah. painting on coaster. You can uh, yep. Yep. get them home and then. Yep. You can actually create from blocks of clay. Mm -hmm. yes. That creates okay. more sense of belonging, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So you know what? Again, there's no fault in, yep. in art, right? Yep. Whatever that yep. you no. do, there's no fault in that. There you go. Yeah. I'm practicing to myself. I'm <laughs> actually learning to myself when I said that. Yeah. Do you teach one of the classes as well? Or all of it? <laughs> okay. So uh, Ganara is uh, quite unique because yep. we actually uh, have uh, a very massive social entrepreneurship yep. program, yep. which is called uh, Mari Berbagi Seni, share, Let's Share Art. Yeah. It's a foundation mm -hmm. that actually pushes uh, a lot of uh, issues, sort mm -hmm. of uh, yeah. like tolerance, mm -hmm. wow. social inclusivity, diversity, wow. gender equality, yeah. and we do it through art. Awesome. Yeah, I'm actually the lead facilitator for those programs. Okay. So I actually yeah. don't teach the art classes anymore mm -hmm. because okay. I, I have a lot of art teachers, right. yeah. but I'm actually going across the country in next month mm -hmm. uh, to to teach that gender equality and yeah. also yeah. empowering women through art to several cities with look where Ganara is at right now. Everything yeah, is accomplishing so a lot cool. of yeah. a lot of adventures and also ventures. Yeah. In regards to self healing though, mm. you know, we were mentioning before yes. before we begin the talk show. Uh, it's one of the medium where we can self heal. Mm -hmm. It's also great for our mental health. How does that work though through art, uh, in your opinion? In my opinion, I think, and, and this is actually what I practice. Yeah. Uh, of course, we as uh, people who, I mean, I'm a facilitator and I'm a leader and also I'm a teacher. Uh, so pandemic was really hard for me mm -hmm. because uh, I get my energy from yeah. teaching other people yes. yeah. and meeting other people. So during that time, I actually have this um, mindfulness art program yeah. throughout 2020, 2021. Oh, really? Okay. And we do it online. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we teach how to express ourselves and mm -hmm. also how to hold our emotion mm -hmm. through lines. Oh, okay. So across the across the Zoom platform, yes. I yeah. would teach a lot of uh, students, a lot of um, college students also. So you can actually learn to breathe through Really? Oh my god, I should have gone. Oh, <laughs> like, I should have been yeah. there. So this I is what participate. Actually, yeah. actually, this is what I practice with my son because mm -hmm. I think children suffer the most during yes. the pandemic. Correct. They yes, can't yes, meet yes. Other, other children yeah. they can't yeah. communicate. And so what happened is uh, for my third son, mm -hmm. every time he feels upset, I, I just ask him to come sit with me and then we have a blank piece of paper yeah. then wow. I would draw one line and mm -hmm. then he can draw another line oh, from that right. any kind of movement so yes. wiggly yep, anything yep, yep, and yes. then I'll just talk to him about it and then oh. at the end the picture becomes something like is it like a crocodile right. is anything like a castle anything but actually it's not the actual result of the drawing right. it's the discussion. process yes yep. yeah, talking right. to him about it and then hearing what he yep. feels and right. people cannot just open up if you just like write that and yeah say, like right, right off the bat yeah what happened yes. to you yes. 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 what happened to you like yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like you don't uh, but through art yeah there is this god that's coming down like slowly and okay. slowly okay. And, mm -hmm. and that's what we do also with uh, pottery our yeah. pottery yep. classes because yep. During the pottery classes, you cannot touch your phone, right? Mm -hmm. For one and yeah. a half hours, you're yeah. like, there you go, yep. free from yeah. all the yeah. lots of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crazy. That's therapeutic. Yeah. It's yes. very therapeutic. 
So what happened is uh, like a ball of uh, clay, mm -hmm. yep. and then you make a hole inside and then you pinch it. Mm -hmm. ah. and then you, you turn it around, yeah. mm -hmm. and then while you pinch it, you learn to breathe. Right? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, breathe. One, there two, you go. And then, ah. and then just like immerse yourself in the process, not thinking about... Anything beyond where you are. Yes. And right. what not. Yeah. yeah, in a meditative state yeah. of yes. art. Yes. So, uh, thank you for the parenting trick, by the way, because we're yeah. both parents. I will definitely yeah. do that at home and doing lines. <laughs> you That's both are my inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Mom of three, uh -huh. wow! <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, so you as an art worker, uh, do you agree that an artwork can portray the creator personality? Mm -hmm. The creator's personality, I mean. So there are uh, different types of artworks yeah. actually created. Yeah. So sometimes uh, it embodies what yeah. the art uh, the art creator, yeah. the artist, uh, yeah. are feeling yeah. like sort of like let's say we talk about um, the artist in Indonesia itself, yeah. like Afandi. You, you know yeah. his his style is very very. We know it's him, yeah. like his emotions. But sometimes there are artists that uh, actually sees the world around them mm -hmm. and then create something that uh, mimics not themselves but yeah. the world around them. So I think it's. It's a different type of artist. Yeah. Myself is actually I'm a painter. Okay. Uh, I'm a painter, and uh, what I paint is usually the people close to me. Like mm. uh, I did a painting of my mom uh, because my my late father was a was an art photographer, so he did oh. a lot of. Uh, yeah. So it's in your gene, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> actually, when yeah. I was four years yeah. old. True story. Um, uh, I really, I, I was really uh, inspired by the women around me. So mm -hmm. I, I drew a lot of women objects on uh, the wall of, in my house. Okay, I climbed okay. The, that's your first canvas. Yes, I climbed the piano and then I oh, drew. Really? Wow. Then, like, other Impressive. parents would be like, oh yeah. my god, and ah. that's cold. And not my dad. Yeah, 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 my yeah. dad was like, he took. Uh, so he took uh, uh, one look at the, the all the drawings yeah. and then one by one and then he said, your drawings are really, really good. Right. And he said, uh, you should grow up to be a painter. Ah, so I was so he was like old. supporting you. Yes. Yeah. And ever since I was five and then he took me to art classes oh, right. and different art classes yes. uh, yeah. along the years. And yeah. I feel like if, that's why I made I created Ganara because mm -hmm. I was very supported by my parents, yeah, but a lot of yeah. kids are not. Mm -hmm, and yeah. I thought if I can create a, a safe haven for yes. these right. children yeah, who yeah, wants yeah, to create, yeah. and then can teach also the parents yeah. that this is uh, this is an actual job. Right. You can make money out of it, yes. and then appreciate yes. it. Uh, right. the, yeah, Indonesia would be a better mm -hmm. place. Yeah. You have to demolish that stigma, right? Sometimes yeah. when you're gonna do art or you know arts and crafts and whatnot, people would think like, "What are you gonna be when you're gonna yeah. grow up?" But oh, that's so many just a hobby. Right? Yeah, break that stigma. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So uh, we want to hear your stories, especially for children. We know this is a, a, an activities for them to for them to explore yes. itself. But for an adult, mm -hmm. especially when they come to your space, Ganara. Uh, do you have any stories that you, that would really recall to you, very memorable for you? What really, um, you know, made them feel when they first joined the class itself? What were they trying to explore? What kind of value they get when they already attended your class? Okay. So what we get a lot uh, coming from the students, the adult students, mm -hmm. is that when they come in, they say, "I can't do art." Yeah, exactly. That's Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly right. what you said. Yeah. I can only draw six. <laughs> Exactly, like or mountains, you know, <laughs> when the elements with the birds, school, yeah. like this, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. the birds. And uh, what happens is because you were given this this blank, sort of like a blank canvas, yeah, yeah. and then we encourage all the teachers, encourage the students who come in. Yeah. It's okay mm -hmm. to it's okay to not create something perfect because this is yeah. your expression, and we yeah. appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. And what happens is they have the confidence to do so, right. and then. Instead of people commenting, uh, you know, on social media about yeah. looks and then everything, yeah. and then they post their art, yeah. and Aww. and it gives them the kind of um, confidence yes. uh, because there's something that's coming out of my yep. hands, literally, yes. yep. right. and it's quite good. And yeah. even 
and we're not actually we never do like um, okay this one is better than this one we right. never compare. No comparison. Yeah. And we actually teach children that you can color everything with any color. Mm -hmm. There's no good or bad color. There's no right. feminine or masculine color. Yes. Like, and so if you see paintings of children in, in our gallery yes. that has uh, the sky and the sky is green. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Because right. The, the, we are teaching them techniques, but the expression yeah. has to be from themselves. Right. So we Their can own interpretation. Yes, yes, you can conclude that the, we don't really need talent to learn art. Yeah. Yes, because, because it's about actually art it's about expression. Yeah, expression. And I think uh, the what happens to the world after the pandemic is that we we were crippled somehow, yep. Yep. and then we were in a mourning state, yep. but we don't know how to express it. Yeah, right? yep. And agree. then uh, we go back to the real world now. Yep. I mean, like we go back to transition. the transition. Yeah. And there's no transition. Like, yeah. Yeah. okay, now we have to go out and about. Just, yeah. Out and about, like yeah. nothing yeah. happened. Yeah. And. <laughs> Just take one, like five minutes in your day, just to draw lines. Mm -hmm. okay. It's very beneficial. I'm gonna practice. <laughs> we need to. Yes. Because yes. there's a lot of stress and whatnot. Um, you know, if you're thinking, and I heard that you're also open a digital yeah. class. Yes. Really All interesting. Right. So yeah. we do digital art class. The the reason why is because I think a lot of uh, kids are very digital savvy right now. Correct. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the way they express themselves through uh, computers mm -hmm. and through their gadgets is very different from when they draw. Yeah. Yep. And so we feel that uh, in that way they can express themselves through our class, but I also see. the end result can be actually printed mm -hmm. uh, on T-shirts, yeah. right. on bags, and so they can actually have it to go. Yeah. And so I think this is sort of like a way to express themselves through art, but. Uh, with the type of children or the type mm -hmm. of students who are very digital savvy. Mm -hmm. And do you know what? Uh, that you already make a, a career for them right yeah. there, right then and there, yeah, a yeah, space yeah, for their yeah. career, right? Yep. All right. So, I mean, Madita, please don't go anywhere because yep. we're, I can only draw six, but I am a bit <laughs> yeah. more confident right now because Madita is here. You get to draw lines. Now. Yes, why not, <laughs> right? Maria and I, we're going to draw some lines, so don't go anywhere. See, the stories will continue after the break.